It goes without saying that farmers need every bit of forecasting help they can get when it comes to predicting the growing season ahead. Planting, fertilizer application, flood water management, but predicting extreme rain events is difficult, especially months in advance. But a new study might have just one-upped the old farmer's almanac by looking at the salt content of ocean water thousands of kilometers away. As water evaporates from the ocean's surface, it leaves salt behind, making the ocean surface just a little bit saltier. By monitoring the changes in sea surface salinity, scientists have a better understanding of how much water is leaving the oceans and moving toward land, which improves their ability to predict intense rain in the season ahead. And turns out it's a surprisingly good indicator of those heavy summer rains. That evaporation is driven by large-scale atmospheric patterns that are connected to weather all over the continental U.S. and Canada. So saltiness works as an indicator for the amount of moisture carried by the atmosphere and patterns in where it will rain out. And luckily, it's much easier data to get, much easier than sea surface temperatures, where there's a much higher variability. Remote sensing and floating sensors provide frequently updated salinity data for vast swaths of the ocean. The team found that their predictions for summertime extreme rain events were 92% more accurate than sea surface temperatures alone. The researchers are already working with agricultural suppliers and farmers to use the salinity-based predictions. Heavy rains and extreme rain events can cost the Midwest billions of dollars in damage and economic loss every year. The Great Flood of 1993, which flooded the Mississippi and Missouri rivers, caused about $15 billion in damage alone. Those losses might have been mitigated to be less than half if the salinity-based predictors were implemented in predicting extreme rainfall just one season ahead. With the climate of the Canadian prairies closely linked to the Midwest, stay tuned for science north of the border to find similar applications. And now, you're Science Smart. If you have a science question on your mind, send me a tweet or an email and I'll try to get it answered.